Okay, let's talk about laying out your garden for your Mitlider garden. What direction should you have your rows running and does it matter? The truth of the matter is, no it does not. You are going to get sun if you lay out your garden plan properly regardless of the direction that they're running. I've got some beds here and what we're looking at here, these rows are going to be running parallel to the in the garden greenhouse that's in the background and that is running east and west. I also have another section that I'll walk over to in a little bit and those rows are running more north and south. I have grown the same tomatoes here that I have over there. It had the same production, the same growth, the same taste, despite that these here were going east and west, the rows, and over there they're going north and south. I set it up to make sure that everything got plenty of sunlight, it grew well, there were no problems. What I have used to determine the lay of my land here of my rows is the, the actual lay of the land, the contour of the ground that I'm working on. Here the slope is higher behind me and it slopes downhill going in the direction of my in the garden greenhouse. So by laying out my rows going in an east to west direction, it's easier for me to get those rows level. And with a Mitlider garden, that's something that you have absolutely got to have. You can have as much as an inch drop over a 30-foot bed, but the closer they are to level, the better you're going to be down the road. Uh, the important thing to consider here in my rows that are going east to west is all of my tall crops that are going to uh, shadow or cast a shadow need to be on the north end. And by putting them on the north end with the shorter stuff closer to me here on the south side, I'm making sure that everything in my garden is going to get sunlight. If I had my tomatoes right up here next to the camera, they're going to cast shade on anything that is to the north of them and then you're going to run into problems. So if you have ground like me and you set up east and west just put all your tall stuff to the north and you'll be fine. Okay here are my rows that are running north and south and again the contour of the land has determined for me how I'm going to lay out these rows. The slope is coming down from the right to the left and continues to run out quite a ways downhill. <laughs> and that's irrelevant. Doesn't matter for what I'm telling you. So what I've done here is these rows are going to be in line with the four before posts that you're looking at, and this is where I grow my vertical crops. I'm going to I'm going to do uh, pole beans, squash, and cucumbers and uh, some melons are all going to be grown here underneath this A-frame structure that I have built. Uh, with this setup, and over here on the right you can see my collard greens that I have allowed to go to seed. I have a row there and it's not ready for the year. It's, it's a mess, I know it is, but I'm not ready to plant it yet. Uh, there's going to be a row there where the collard greens is, and there will be another one over here to the side. With this set up, with these rows, all of my tall plants need to be here to the east. And they'll be under this structure here. As the sun rises it, initially in the morning, the tall plants here will cast a shadow over everything over here. But after the sun is overhead, the sun is going to be coming straight down. There won't be any shadow cast on my my smaller crops over here and for the remainder of the day everything in my garden is going to have sun. So if you set up your rows because the lay of your land so that you're working with the contour to make it easier to get your beds level if they're going north and south like what we're looking at here you're going to plant all your tall stuff to the east. If you do that you're not going to have any problems with your garden it's going to get adequate light, it's going to grow well. And that's how you decide if you're going to set up to go east and west or north and south with your garden rows.